my philosophy is that when things are bad, that's when you push, that's when you grow, that's when you open, that's when you do amazing things. Being able to bring everybody together and really having that palpable feeling of people with that togetherness, such a great feeling to be able to invigorate, excite, and encourage, motivate, and inspire other people. We do want to be a boutique real estate firm that provides a boutique level of service, but with a global reach. And the way that we do that is by focusing uh, first and foremost on the people and the community that we have, but ultimately the culture in which we all operate. And that means that we are focusing on partnering with like-minded individuals who are professionals, who are collaborators, who understand the brand and want to be a part of it. It really is about the people first, and we've never really opened an office without uh, partnering with the right people, the right professionals in that marketplace because, you know, we want to maintain the brand, we want to maintain the reputation, and we want to be the best. And if you can't get the best, then we're not going to open it. It's not just about who's the top producer. It really is about who has control of the luxury market, who has the relationships in the luxury market. Really fun since day one. We really like the environment. We like all the people, um, all the agents, all the staff. The tools that we bring to the table are really unique. Um, none of the other brokerages that exist in the market um, do that. Before we even um, had officially joined, Mauricio had a referral for us from the Aspen office. So I think it's going to be really beneficial for all of the offices to be working together to have that connection. Everybody always asks me, you know, how are you going to maintain the culture? And the reality is that when it starts off so strong and everybody embodies it, it's actually relatively easy to maintain the culture.